Hey everyone, and welcome to, in spite of whatever catchy title I tried to name this, this is January 2023 viewer favorites or best sellers. So traditionally I give you an overall top 10 and then I break it out into categories like beauty, accessories, home lifestyle, but especially last month, although the trend has been coming, it was so heavily clothing items that to say these are your beauty favorites, would be me going to number 250, 300 on the list. I'm using beauty as an example. So I mixed it up a little bit today because I wanna share with you what really was the most favorite items, what really were the most favorite items, what you all were the most interested in and what you actually purchased, what you voted for with your wallets. And so today I'm gonna to give you the Walmart fashion top 10, the Amazon fashion top 10, and then break out a couple of little categories. So let's dive into the Walmart fashion top 10 first. So first and foremost, and this will also pop up again in accessories, is this guy. This is the Time and True crossbody. It's just under $25. It has a magnet over here, nice slip pouch. Then it has one, two zippered pockets, and then a third main compartment with another zippered pocket, zippered, zippered pocket. Say that five times fast. We all love it. I mean, number one across the board. They also released it in a florally butterfly pattern, and then they went on to release a whole bunch more in this quilted pattern, bags, totes, backpacks, etc. And I will link those down in the description box if you are interested. Number two, from Walmart top 10 were the Time and True straight leg mid-rise jeans. I love them. I first sized up, well, that's not true. I'm really, I think, a size six at this point, I think. Who knows what a standard size is anymore? But I initially bought the size six and I still like them and wear them. They're just a little baggy on me and that's a look now, thanks to Y2K coming back. That's gonna be a video. Absolutely going to be a video on this Y2K trend. I can't not talk about that. Anyway. I did size down to a size four, and those fit much more snugly, but still very comfortable. But during my deep dive into looking into all these, really, they're, under, they're just under $17. Like you can buy all the pairs you want. I found, at least online, they have a time and true curvy fit skinny jean. Now I know a lot of you are just like, you hear the words skinny jean and you bleh, but I still love mine. And I think for me, the key was finding a curvy fit skinny jean. And I've recommended a bunch over the years and fairly recently, but this most recent find I loved so much, I immediately bought in two colors. They are perfection. Go check those out. Okay, number three were the Time and True Linen Shorts. You guys are so excited for the prospect of warm weather. You're stocking up on linen shorts. I commend you. I'm not quite ready to put my legs into shorts for a variety of reasons, but Good for you, they're still well populated on the website. They are a great price point. And if you're a shorts wearer, I definitely recommend grabbing these because they're very flowy, they fit nicely. Personally, I like to size up one full size in any kind of shorts so that they're not too snug around the thighs and the belly. I have more of an hourglass shape and I do naturally curve, but I also do naturally carry more of my weight around my lower midsection. So I like a little more room. Number four was the Time and True Sleeveless Eyelet Dress. Now this was a dress that I shared in one of my recent Walmart hauls, but I didn't actually purchase the dress myself. So I have obviously my personal preferences as do we all, and I don't like short dresses as a general rule on me. I love how they look on just about anybody else. And so I do wanna share more than just what I personally like. I don't think that's, fair because we all have a wide range of preferences. So I do try to share what I think are pretty pieces that maybe someone else would enjoy. And this was definitely one of them. Comes in a variety of colors. Of course, it's a great price point and it's just beautiful. And right behind that at number five was a similar eyelet dress also from Time and True, but this one, while still shorter, was long sleeve. And I love that balance. I love it when maybe you have sleep, no sleeves and then a longer skirt or the longer sleeves and a shorter skirt. I just like that balance. And I especially like it in eyelet because generally you're only gonna wear eyelet when it is warm outside. And so you think long sleeves, that's not gonna work. But because it's essentially long sleeves with tons of holes in them, this will work for the warmer weather. Number six, this one is selling out. They're on sale actually down to $16 from just about 32 or the Diana 
trouser jeans from Sophia Jeans. They have two washes. One's a little more faded, one's a more pigmented wash. They do run a little bit longer. I'm five foot four, I have to wear them with heels. I don't mind, I absolutely love them. I'm currently, I'll pop in a picture of my outfit today, wearing brand new trouser jeans that I just got from Chico's. Obviously a very different price point. I will admit I like these better because they have functional front pockets, but I love that trouser jeans are coming back. I am so, so very excited. It's like the perfect hybrid between jeans and pants. Love it. Number seven was the Free Assembly Teddy Bomber Jacket. This guy is on Major Markdown. It is $8. Hopefully it's still even available because I'm filming this just a couple days ahead of time. It is $8. It comes in a variety of colors. Get your true size. I have mine in a size small, super cute, $8. Grab it. Number eight is the Time and True Sleeveless Tiered Maxi Dress. It's almost sold out. Very limited sizes, a handful of colors. I don't know if it's on sale or not, but it's under $20. If it's in your size, I definitely recommend getting it. The website says it doesn't have pockets, but it does. Number nine, this is where I would love to be able to give you an update. They're the Time and True Tall Riding Boots. They came in black and brown. The brown are entirely sold out unless you want the wide width on the shaft. In that case, there are several sizes available. Black seems to be fully stocked. This is where I wish I could tell you I found an affordable option that's in stock. I still haven't. If you have any recommendations for affordable riding boots, in brown specifically, please let me know down in the comments. And then the last top favorite from Walmart was this Tyback Dolman sleeve dress I shared with you over on Stories and I think on a YouTube short. It comes in two different prints and it is on sale for $10, marked down to $30. Now let's walk through the Amazon fashion bestsellers because there were some doozies. Okay, number one was this Batwing colored sweater, which was my most worn sweater. I absolutely love it. It is so soft. It is the softest material I've ever worn in a sweater. I have it in the beige color. It was sold out. It looks like it might be back in stock, but it comes in a ton of beautiful neutral shades, a handful of bright colors that I actually like as well but it I would say it runs true to size. It washes well. If you're worried about washing sweaters at home, my recommendation is to use the Wool Light at home dry cleaning kits. That's what I use when I'm in doubt. So that's my extra recommendation. Okay, number two, another amazingly soft, comfortable, really fun spin on a sweatshirt is from the Amazon Aware line. And it is the softest material, nice, very subtle puff sleeves. So it looks, a little dressier than just your everyday sweatshirt. And again, it comes in a ton of nice neutrals, a handful of colors. I would say if you want to avoid it looking like an actual sweatshirt, don't get the heathered options, the heathered gray or the heathered oatmeal. Those just look like sweatshirts. I have mine in off white and it just looks like a pretty top and they do run true to size. Next, this has been a bestseller for a while now. It's the quarter zip pullover and I have it in both small and medium. And I can't say that there is a big difference between the two, I sized up to the medium, hoping it'd be a little bit longer so I could wear it over leggings. It's a smidge, just a smidge. So I would say probably just go with your true size. Next is they call, okay. So first we used to call these things dupes. Then they said, don't call them dupes. Then I started calling them lookalikes. They told us not to use that phrase either. So we're gonna, sorry, that's some beauty products we'll get to in a moment. Now we're supposed to call them inspired, whatever. It looks like a free people sweater, but it is not. Again, with the collar, I have it in black. I have the real free people version in an oatmeal. I like the Amazon one better. I like the neckline on it better. It's a little higher up. I like the sizing options better. Of course, I like the price point better and apparently so do you. Number five on the Amazon fashion overall are my go-to ankle booties. I think they run a teeny bit big, so I can go, my true size is really a seven. In these, I'm better at a six and a half unless I wanna wear them with thick socks, which I don't. I don't wear them with socks at all. So I would say if you're in between sizes, size down a half size. If you're right true at the right size, just leave it as it is, but they are number five. Number six is the Amazon Aware ribbed, not collar, just ribbed crew neck. Very basic kind of sweater that I've overlooked in my closet for years, but I find that it's time to get back to basics in a lot of ways. And I love pairing this with joggers, with dressier pants, with jeans, but I do like sizing up on this one so I have a little more room, it's a little more slouchy, so I do have a medium 
in this sweater. On to number seven, which I have been told is an anthropology inspired sweater. I have mine in this bright sort of raspberry pink. Again, very soft, it's ribbed, a little bit slouchy. And I wore it out recently and a woman says, oh, I have that sweater, is it from Anthropology?" And I said, uh, nope, it's from Amazon and it is just under $40. So she was a little bit annoyed. <laughs> but more color options and more in stock options than what you will find at Anthropology. Number eight counts as fashion according to Amazon. It's the foldable uh, tote bag that I shared from my Amazon travel video earlier in January. It's very much like the Le Pliage tote in concept and that it folds up into a nice little square, you tuck it in your luggage, and then if you need an extra tote bag, you need to check some extra stuff, whatever, you just want it walking around tote bag, you can grab this one. It comes in black or blue. The blue I think is $2 less. It's a great bag. Number nine, now here is an update. This is why it's good to stick around and watch the whole thing. The Daily Ritual Tensile Joggers, love them. By far my favorite everyday non-athletic jogger. Apparently it's everybody's favorite and we're down to one color and one size. I have reached out to Amazon repeatedly. I do have a human being that I can email. The human being doesn't, almost never emails me back. It's a whole other story. I don't know what the deal is with this. It's, it's fantastic. If you happen to be the size that's on the website and you like that color, I would say grab it while you can. I have searched everywhere for a dupe. I have found tinsel joggers, but they're like $150. That's not much of a dupe when we're comparing it to Amazon. But I found something that's very close. It's tinsel, it's a jogger, it's under 50 bucks, it's something. It comes in far more wearable colors and tons of colors. It's at Banana Republic, Banana Republic Factory. It does have the cargo silhouette, so it has pockets on the outside, so it's not as streamlined as those daily ritual ones, but it's the close, it's close, and it's a reasonable, reasonable price point for what it is. So go check those out if you're trying to find tinsel joggers. I, they're on sale, so I don't know how long they'll be around. You might wanna grab them while you can. And then the last favorite from Amazon Fashion was this guy, which has been a favorite of mine for years, the Dr. Scholl's slip-on sneakers. And I have two pairs of them, but I'll be honest, this is the only version that I wear. I have more of a faded camo print that I thought I would wear. I don't. I absolutely love these. And they are a little more put together than a laced up sneaker, a little more versatile. And I would say get your true size. I have mine in a seven. I do have five beauty favorites to run through really quickly. The first is the Trish McAvoy Instant Eye Lift. I need to recommend this every month in every video because every time I do and someone finally buys it, they message me and say, what was I waiting for? It just brightens under the eyes, blends seamlessly into your skin, comes in three shades. I am the lightest shade. That's the shade I wear every single day, whether I'm wearing a full face of makeup or not. Number two is the Charlotte Tilbury Brightening Powder. I'm wearing it today. I, it's what I use to set my under eye concealer. That way it doesn't smudge and it doesn't crease and it does add a whole other element of brightening and I can use it and do use it to kind of run a little highlight down the middle of my face as well. And I like that it's refillable. Haven't had to do it yet, and I use it every single day. Number three is from Trish McAvoy as well. It's their Eau de Parfum X. It's a really lovely, warm, spicy, but a little sweet scent. I think it's a great evening scent, although I will wear it during the day. And it's super sexy and very unique. No one else is gonna smell like you if you're wearing it. Number four, I was kind of surprised to see is the Shiseido Eye Curler, Eyelash Curler. It's a nice little eyelash curler. I used it today to kind of pinch my false lashes closer to my real ones. That's a shorts video. I'll link the shorts video down below. Yes, I am wearing fake lashes. They are from BK Beauty. They are the first pair of lashes I've not only been able to put on, but wear in, in a, multiple days in a row. I love them. Okay, anyway, number five, lastly, is the lipstick that I have on. It's the Chantikai Lip Chic. Today I am wearing it. Well, this is actually not the color I'm wearing. I'm wearing it in Camellia. This shade is Tea Rose, which was highly recommended. It's another great neutral. It's just a little bit deeper. I hope you're still here for accessories because I have lots of updates. So number one is the MZ Wallace Medium Metro Tote. I don't know how I overlooked recommending this. I found a pretty close dupe. It's from No Boundaries. And I'm finally able to confidently recommend this one because all the other MZ Wallace dupes are missing the luggage sleeve. This one has it. So um, it's linked below underneath the MZ Wallace tote. Obviously a much better price point. So check that out. The short suede booties, I have been living in these pretty much sold out. I have seen some in person. So if you live near a Walmart, go check out their shoe section. 
I did find a very similar option at Amazon. It's more expensive. It's not as expensive as the Uggs, but it's definitely more expensive. I will link it below if you're interested in those. Lots more color options, lots more sizing. Number three are the Time & True convertible mules. I wish I could tell you I found an exact dupe for them or that they're restocked. They are not, they're all sold out. But Walmart is starting to release their spring stuff. And okay, these aren't exactly the same. They're not convertible, they're true mules. But they remind me a little bit of a loafer style, kind of just the way this is woven together. And they released them in the exact same three shades as the mules that came in at number three. And they're exquisite. They look super expensive. I got these in the almond and they have the memory foam insole. I love these. They run true to size. Number four was a big favorite. And if you're still looking for something for Valentine's Day to ask for, this is a good one. It's the Pave Heart Necklace from Kendra Scott. I'm wearing it in the gold. It's an adjustable necklace. So I'm wearing it uh, very short so that I can layer it with these pieces. It's so pretty. I've already heard from so many of you who received it as a gift over the holidays or asked for it for Valentine's Day and you are loving it. So I'm glad to hear that feedback. And then the last best seller for accessories, weirdly was the Raffia, like the resin handle, kind of straw clutch handbag. I don't know how that came up. And I'm pretty sure I decluttered it because I thought it was sold out and never coming back. But no, it is still on the website in the pink and the black. It's sold out in the natural. I did find a pretty good, it looks exactly the same. It's not exactly the same price point. I think it's $20 more, but I did find a dupe for that and I will link that below. The pink and the black though are on sale for $13.57. So if you're on the fence, I would say grab those. You will not be sorry. But what I'm really excited about is that my favorite place to get bag straps is Social Threads and they have released a ton of new ones, including some really fun ones that would look really cute on that raffia, raffia? How do you say that word? on that handbag. Check them out and I've linked the whole thing below. Another whole section that was really high on the best sellers list was anything to do with home and travel. I did do that big Amazon travel essentials video. I think that's what fueled that, but I do wanna run through these really quickly. Number one is has nothing to do with it. It's from Walmart. It's the wax melt warmer with a light. I love this one because it has a timer on it. So you can have it on just endlessly or you can choose two, four, or eight hours. So I love that it has the automatic turn off. Okay, the rest is all from my Amazon travel video. The first was the three-piece luggage set. Still stand by that, still love it. Comes in a bunch of colors. I have mine in navy. Number three was the foldable travel mirror. It does come in two sizes. I picked the largest size and I don't have mine charged up. I only charge it up if I know that I am going somewhere. I haven't had a chance to go on the road, so I haven't used it yet, but I've looked at myself in it and it works. Number four, I used a lot. Number four is the portable power bank with multiple cords that live on the sides, and then you just charge it by plugging it in. We lost power for almost an entire day during an ice storm in, no, it was earlier this month, and I didn't have this pre-charged. We did sort of evacuate to our club where I brought all my chargers, charged everything up, and then came back home and then the power turned on like five hours later. But these are fantastic, just a public service announcement. If you see bad weather coming in the forecast, charge up these things so you are ready just in case. And then the last thing, it's been a favorite or slash bestseller for months is the toiletry bag that I use when I travel. And I have the large size. I have it in a dusty pink. It comes in other colors as well. It's fantastic. I keep mine pretty much fully stocked. It's almost like a go bag. So if I'm going somewhere in a moment's notice, really don't have to add much to it. I have, you know, just throw in some contacts and stuff and I am good to go. But it makes a really nice gift. And if you're already thinking about your maybe high school senior graduating, getting ready to move into the dorms, I think this would make for a really nice gift or a very nice affordable gift to give to someone that you know is graduating from high school this year. That is my earliest graduation gift recommendation. Alrighty, that is a very long list. Honestly, next month I'm hoping I just get down to the regular categories, but it was just so skewed in one direction this month that I needed to share all this. So let me know what you think of the new format. It's not gonna stick around for long, but I'm still curious. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for sticking around to the end and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.